welcome back everyone in today's video i will be discussing about the variables and memory reference in python and how the variable works in the background if you're programming in python you might be using a lot of variables in your script so did you ever think how it works in the background when you're creating a new variable and assigning some values to that variable how does it work in the background for example when you assign amount equal to 10 does the variable amount save this actual value or does it saves in memory let's take an example amount equal to 10 here we are creating a variable amount and assigning a value 10 when you executing this line python will check the expression and check the right hand side of this expression the right hand side is 10 so it will interpret as integer object of python next step is object creation now python creates a new integer object representing the value 10 now the next step is memory allocation if a new integer object is needed python uses its memory allocator to find a suitable location in memory let's imagine memory is a group of slots as represented by this image each slot can store data sometimes multiple slots were used to store data each slot can be represented by a memory address let's say thousand 1001, 1002, etc. So the created Python object will save in any of these memory slots. Let's say in memory address 1000. So the actual data will be saved in this memory address. In the case of amount equal to 10, the value integer 10 will be saved in this memory address. Here, it's not only saving the value 10, but also additional metadata about the object, such as type reference count etc here the variable amount becomes a reference to that memory address which is thousand so when you calling the variable amount it referring the memory location thousand and getting the value from that memory address similar to this when you create a variable called first name and assign a value sam python allocate a memory let's say thousand two and save this data to that memory location and first name becomes the reference to that memory location Sometimes the data will save in a single slot and sometimes it will overflow and use multiple slots to save the data. If it uses multiple slots, the variable will refer to the starting memory location. So basically what we need to understand is that the variable are just reference to the memory location. So the actual data is saved in that memory location. To get the memory location of a variable, we can use id function which is a inbuilt function of python as you can see in this script it will print the memory location of that particular variable so if you rerun this script you won't get the same result because in each run python will create and save new memory location for the variable as you know if you run amount equal to 10 it will create a new object in memory and save the value and variable amount becomes the reference to that memory location so what if we assign this variable amount to another variable price in this case the reference of the variable amount is assigned to the variable price not the actual value so the memory location thousand has two references one is for amount another is for price there is another process is also running in the background which is reference count updating and python will always check the reference count for each variable Reference counting is a core part of Python's memory management system, especially in the CPython implementation. It helps to keep track of the number of references to each object, allowing the interpreter to deallocate memory that is no longer in use. When a new reference is created, such as assigning an object to a new variable, the reference count will increment. For example, after executing amount equal to 10, reference count will increment. And if the variable amount is assigned to another variable price, then the reference count is again incremented. When a reference to an object is removed, such as when a variable goes out of scope or explicitly deleted, the reference count is decremented. If the reference count drops to zero, the object is deallocated because it is no longer accessible. So this memory will be free and can be used to store new objects. This mechanism was implemented in the pi object structure and managed through macros in the CPython source code. This system ensures efficient memory management. We don't need to worry about this. The whole memory management will run in the background. So in conclusion, 
variables are the reference to the memory address so that's all about today's video thank you for watching and see you in the next video